times? Yeah, of course, we need to adapt our language to different audiences mm -hmm. and use a lot of the science. Now we have more and more the science that show the importance of addressing mindsets, values, worldviews, and how certain human qualities and skills are important for sustainability. We have partnered with a leading scientist in that field to uh, write a rational for action report. So we really have a strong background in science. And yeah, we need to really adapt to different contexts. But I would say our job also is, uh, is a bit political in a way, is to create a space where it is fine to talk about this inner dimension, even uh, spirituality, if that's how people, you know, um, experience it or name it. So just being able to, you know, make the case that we need to have this conversation, we need to look at these dimensions has been very liberating for some of our members who often are a bit alone and alienated in their own workplace. And for us to uh, us creating for them that place, uh, and it's a UN organization so that brings legitimacy to this field. And for them to be able to connect with like-minded people, to find the resources, the science, the language, uh, and, and opportunities for collaboration is uh, is very useful and i, I think I, and I, I can say that what we have found is that there are much more people ready for that than we would thought because it is taboo in a lot of our organization but once you make that uh, possible and say you know that it is fine and indeed we need to to have these conversations you'll find there's uh, probably much more people that are ready for that than one could assume mm.